To give you a little bit of context, what we're doing is we're showing slaughterhouse and farm footage all yeah. taken in the UK just to give people like a, yeah. a deeper understanding of what we support when we buy animal products. Yeah. Have you seen... Terrible. So, yeah, it's terrible, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. It is horrible. Do you think there's a, a humane or nice way to take the life of an animal that doesn't want to die? Probably not. Probably not? No. No? Do you think we have to eat animals to live or can we survive without them? You can, you can survive. You can, or? You can, yeah. Yeah. And what about vegans? Can vegans, can we survive by eating milk and cheese as well and eggs? Yeah. Yeah? Do you think, bearing that in mind, the fact that we can live healthy, about eating those things. How do we justify allowing this to happen to animals if it doesn't have to? Yeah. This is a free range egg farm. It's horrible, right? Yeah, please. I sort of do tend to try and buy ethical where I can. And what do you mean by ethical then? Well, organic. Okay. And they, um, it's like a bit more of a kinder like smaller small holdings farms. smaller holdings yeah and they um, do a more of a humane slaughter rather than all this horrific stuff what does a humane slaughter I look really like do you know. think I don't just quick the animal doesn't know what's going on it's basically almost like it's busily trotting around and then suddenly it's dead two seconds gone do you think that's the reality though well the way I see it is say an animal is a really beautiful life yes and then say we take them to a slaughterhouse where they're yes. killed and there's no pain yes. there's no fear there's yes. no suffering yes. because they have a preference to live yes. does that not still mean it's cruel yeah i know what you're saying i, I agree with you yeah totally agree exactly with you. yeah um you're always gonna have meat on the shelves aren't you do you reckon yeah do you think it's changing no do you I, I, I don't think i eat meat yeah and i don't think i would change no it's just well, 60 years of eating meat, I'm not going to change now. Why not? Because it's just the way of life. I mean, say, luckily, my mum's not alive here today because she was brought up on a farm. Yeah, you yeah, know. yeah. Well, this is the, the humane way, so this is the nicest way of killing an animal. This is, so the bolt gun doesn't kill them, it stuns them, it's supposed to make them unconscious. But this one, um, as you can see, it doesn't work on this particular cow. Yeah. Oh my God. We can all agree that this is really bad, yeah. but is there a humane way to kill an animal that doesn't want to die, do you think? Uh, a humane way? A humane way, yeah. So I suppose there is, isn't there? What would that look like, do you think? Well, a uh, bullet, isn't it, or something, eh? Do you, think, do you think that even if we took away all the, the pain, all the suffering, do you think that because the animal has a preference to live, it's still cruel? Oh yeah, I do actually. Yeah. I mean, yeah it's yeah. still cruel, right? Yeah. Do you think we have to eat animals or animal products to live, or can we survive without them? Good survive without calves, you wouldn't get your milk. Well, right. You? So you've got to produce calves to produce milk. Right. So what happens so to the calf? Do you think? Well, the calf will go off to slaughter. So yeah. that's absolutely right. Taken away from its mother there quite we go. young, doesn't it? Which is a bit cruel. Within 48 hours. Yeah, it, it yeah. is a bit cruel. And absolutely right. Well, imagine you've just had a baby yeah. and you're thinking, oh, there's my little baby. My baby. And then suddenly, where's my baby gone? Someone takes your baby would away. That be awful? Absolutely. So if I was a cow, I'd be thinking, yeah. Oh my God, where's my baby gone? And cows are maternal animals. So no, like, no, like no, humans, no. you know, it's a very so strong matriarchal you know bond. They're not grieving for their baby. They do grieve. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's yeah. been shown that they grieve and yeah. they call out. No. This footage of them chasing after their calves. This. Yeah, I know you know. This. I know all this. How do we then morally Did justify you forget? you forget? Do you know right? why you forget? Tell me. Because you walk in your supermarket yeah. it's just there on the shelf. You just yeah. pick it up. You just buy it. There you, you go. drink your milk. And you don't think and about it. And you don't it. even think that it comes. You don't. You forget it's That's even right. come from a cow. Because you see it and it's all wrapped up in plastic. And you plastic with your yeah. bright red steaks. There you go. And it's just you go in and, and you, you don't your see this, and you don't, you don't, don't think, think about it. Now, if there was a cow tied up next to the meat, yeah, you think, oh God, no, I don't think I can exactly. Eat him. <laughs> and do you not think that's strange? You, you've got lovely big brown eyes. Exactly. And do you not yeah. think it's weird that if we saw the animal, yeah. we wouldn't want to eat them? No. And that as a species, we have to detach as far as possible yeah. from the reality of what we're eating. Do you think um, that you could like kill an animal yourself, like to me? Yeah. No, no. No, only if I was a vet. And if you were a vet, and you had, had to, to put it out of its exactly, misery. exactly. Yes, I, and I agree with yes, you on that. If it, if it was had had to, and it was it was a, the best thing, the nice thing to do. Whatever, yeah. um, what about the animals that we eat that aren't in pain and don't want to die? No, I couldn't. 
I couldn't. Do you think it's... But, it, then, you, but then you're going to put the farmers, you're going to put the abattoirs out of yeah? work, aren't well, you? Well, there's always been... The thing is, is, there's a victim involved, like an animal that's suffering. A farmer can always find a different job. An animal can't find another life. Mm. What do you think is the difference between eating a pig and eating a dog, or is it the same? Different bite meats. I don't want to see yeah. that. Yeah. Why, why do you say it's different then? Because I don't know, like a dog's a pet. But yeah. I it's the same because they're both animals, but it's a cultural thing, right? Yeah. Cultural. Yeah. So when you eat animals, do you ever think about the animal that you're eating? Yeah. Do you think I have like thought about it before? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But I don't know. The meat's quite a big part of what I eat. Yeah, it was for me as well. It, it was for for all of us. You know, I, we're all vegans, but we didn't start off as vegans. I, I was eating meat for 20 years of my life you know you know I was eating animal products for 20 years of my life I loved it don't get me wrong I loved the taste of them but I started to see footage like this and I started to to question it and think this just isn't right and as a person I just couldn't support this anymore knowing that these animals were suffering when they didn't have to yeah. and, it has, and I eat all the foods that I used to eat I eat burgers and stir fries and pasta and mac and cheese and stuff it's just now I eat it from vegan foods like plants rather than from animals and do you think veganism is something you'd ever consider trying? Yeah, I do think so, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That is something I would consider. What we have to remember is the only reason that these things happen to animals is because so consumers... They're at the animals yeah. and they're treating them just like they're like a sack of wheat. It's not well, they're like, a commodity, they're, aren't they? Like there's an actual live living oh, animal oh. in there. Well, it's the, just like it's a sack of spuds. There we it? go. Well, they're commodities, like, aren't they? Yeah. It's just the money. objects. There we go. It's it is, money. It's like a sack with some money in it. It's, it's almost not like yeah. a living, breathing. This is animal. it. And to these are farmers, it's inconvenience that they're alive in the first place. Yes. So it'd be so much more convenient if they were just sacks yes. of potatoes, exactly. exactly. Yeah, so easier. this is the thing that they, they completely depersonalize these animals, yeah. right? So they don't yeah. see them as living beings anymore. No. They're objects to make money from. Yeah. They're, they're de we're all vegan. They're, de they're desensitized. It's yeah. called desensitized. There it is. Absolutely, it is. Yeah. They're desensitized from what these animals are going for. That's right. The thing about eggs, let me just give you a little brief thing about eggs. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the male chicks in the egg industry are not suitable to be killed for meat, which means that they won't be sold for meat. The male chicks obviously don't produce eggs because they're male, which means that every year in the UK, but also abroad and across the whole, con across the whole world, mm -hmm. what happens is we slaughter male chicks as soon as they're born by grinding them alive in macerators or by gassing them alive. So in this country, we kill 40 million day-old male chicks by macerating them. And that happens on free-range farms as well. It's a marketing ploy. But I appreciate you've got to run off. So there's a couple of things here. I mean, so there's culling of badgers. Yeah, there's culling, yeah. You know, I, I disagree good. with that. There we go. I do disagree good. with that. Good. So you do disagree with animals being killed. Yes. But what's the difference between killing a badger and killing a pig or a cow? Well, of course, it's because we don't eat badgers. No, you know, but, but if we did, yeah. would that make it OK? <laughs> But they all yeah. feel right, and they all want to live, I suppose, is, yeah. is the thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can see your point, and, yeah. I'm sure you yeah, can. I, mean, I, I, I do see your point. We're all compassionate people, and we all oh, love, love animals. animals. I there love we animals. Go. Yeah. Do you think you can love animals if you eat them? Oh, it's difficult, isn't it? It's difficult. I mean, as a species, we do some horrible things to our own species as well. Yeah. But obviously, we do horrible things to non-human animals. Now, you and I, we can't do much about governments and politicians, can we? But what we can do is, is change what we buy and what we support as individuals. Yeah. And um, this only happens to animals because we buy those products. That's true, yeah. yeah. Bearing in mind that you, we both agree that we don't have to eat animals or animal products like milk and eggs to live, how do we morally justify this continuing if it doesn't have to? No, you can't, maybe, can you? No, no. Do you eat animals yourself? I do, actually, yeah, yeah I mean, but, yeah. you know. So how, do, how will you, in future, from, from now on, morally justify to yourself paying for an animal to die when they don't have to? Well, I'm thinking about going vegan, going vegan mate. Yeah. yeah, you should go <laughs> vegan, man. Oh, yeah, I'm going to And the thing is, we're living now in a society where it's so easy to just buy something different. You go into Tesco's or Asda or Sainsbury's or wherever and you just buy some soy milk or some rice milk or some almond milk or some whatever milk it is and you don't have, you mean these animals don't have to suffer them and you can get plenty of substitutes you can get even get vegan Ben and Jerry's ice cream now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So this is it's becoming so much easier for us to not support this kind of cruelty.
you know, we love dogs and cats. Yeah. And, and the thing is, if anyone was to hurt a dog, if, if we saw someone right now abusing a dog, oh, we'd yeah, all we'd run in and them. stop yeah. them. Yeah. And, if, and the fact is, if we saw someone abusing a pig right now, we'd also run yes, in and stop we'd them. Yes, we'd be on it if they were abusing the animal. Yeah. But do you not think the fact that the animal doesn't want to die and they want to live out their life because we keep them in farms and we kill them, that is a form of abuse? The other way around is, do, does that animal not know it's being bred for meat? They probably don't know they're being bred to be for meat, but they know that their life isn't one that they probably want to live. Because they think and feel and that they're conscious and alive, obviously. You know, dogs and cats and stuff are, and pigs and cows and, and chickens and turkeys are as well. Uh, I see where you're coming from, yeah, but yeah. I think it'd be a... I don't think it's it would not, ever stop. It's not going to happen overnight, but there, are, there is change happening gradual yeah. but there is maybe change maybe when I'm dead it'll be uh, <laughs> well, maybe before then <laughs> you don't give yourself another credit just have a little read in yeah I will do and, and yeah, I will there's do. some information on here as well if you've got YouTube and stuff check out some yeah. of these links and just do I a bit of research do. and see how you feel about okay. it okay yeah? yeah I'll have a look because I, I do like animals exactly oh, oh, oh they're alright I, yeah, I love animals we all love so animals and, have a look. and we don't want to see them suffer but unfortunately no. what we don't realise is when we buy you know their flesh and their products they've had to suffer for that well yeah I don't think I only hope and I I think the way, hopefully, they were, it was quick and there was no pain, you know? Do you think that's realistic though? I don't know. Even the most humane way that we kill pigs is in a gas chamber in this country. So even the most humane ways of killing animals still causes them pain and, yeah. and suffering. That's the problem. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what the, what, I know the solution the is solu to stop eating it. Yeah, that's the solution, that's the solution, exactly. <laughs> well, I don't think that, w that would happen. Well, maybe, so maybe. It's a, it, it's, a, it's a pun, isn't it? It's food for thought. Food for thought, exactly food right. For thought. Have a I'm lovely go day. All right, bless you, bye. I used to get KFC pretty much every week. I always get like a, a Zinger box meal, I loved it. <laughs> now I see KFC and I think of these birds and I think of the cruelty and it doesn't seem like food to me. It makes me feel uneasy. Yeah. It's just a process. You're more than welcome. I gave you one of these cards, so I'm just going to give you a couple of inf bit of information. The documentary um, that we've been screening is called Land of Hope and Glory. It's free to watch. It's 48 minutes long. It's really insightful. Um, there's also some really great documentaries on Netflix. Cowspiracy talks about the environment and how eating animals destroys oh, our I've environment. Seen that. I yeah? That, yeah, good man. Well, have you seen What the Health? Yeah, no, ah, it's made by the same guys, so watch what the hell. And then this is a really great website up here, vegan22.com. It's it, basically it's a website where you sign up to try veganism for 22 days. They say it takes 21 days to kick a habit, so you get an extra day there for good luck.